haven't done a franchise video in a bit. I've been doing a lot of no clip videos, but I thought today let's uh, shake it up and bring back that beautiful no non no clip series, but franchise series. Yeah, something like that. You know what? It is what it is. Today we added Jim Kelly, replaced Josh Allen to the 2024 Buffalo Bills, who currently right now are looking pretty damn good, okay? They're pretty good right now with Josh Allen. But one of the greatest quarterbacks from the history of the Buffalo Bills has to be none other than Jim Kelly, who was a very successful asset for them for pretty much a very long time. I didn't realize when it came to Jim Kelly, so he started his career when he was 26 years old, which we don't normally see that for a quarterback. He then went ahead and had a total of, well, he went 12-4 and in 88, and then he went 6-7, and seven, got hurt, didn't play a whole entire season. Followed that up by having a total of four successful seasons in a row, Obviously, the Bills never won a Super Bowl, so that definitely sucks. But his best year was when he went 13-2 and in 91 and went ahead and threw for 33 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we're just going to see how this goes. I've been meaning to add Jim Kelly to this Bills squad, and I was kind of thinking about the idea, you know, getting a little crazy here, putting Josh Allen at running back. And Jim Kelly at quarterback. But, you know, let's not get too crazy here. All right, so they started off 2-0, and and now they lost the last two. So now they're 3-2. and Okay, they played the New York Jets. Uh, they beat the New York Jets. They played the Tennessee Titans, who in this franchise is really good. They lose to the Titans. They played the Seattle Seahawks, who are currently really good. Okay, 2-5 and five Miami Dolphins with Tua. How do you lose that game? Five and four Indianapolis Colts. And now they play the eight and one Kansas City Chiefs. They beat the eight and one Kansas City Chiefs. So now they're seven and four and they lead the uh, AFC East. Okay. They beat. I did not think they were going to win that game against the Chiefs. I'll be honest with you. That is a humongous surprise so far 25 touchdowns 10 interceptions for jim kelly 3,000 yards as well his top receiver currently is mvs okay um just kind of rocking with the veteran player i can respect that five interceptions for rasul douglas let's go over to it again and let's see the second half of this season so starting off with the 49ers who are currently five and six in this franchise uh, the Bills take an L to them. Okay. They play the LA Rams in LA, win that game. The 7 and 6 Detroit Lions, they win again. They play the 1 and 13 Patriots in Buffalo. Okay. Thank God they won that game. They play the New York Jets. They beat the Jets. Okay. Now they play the 1 and 15 Patriots to end off the season. They beat the 1-15 Patriots. So they don't get a bye week because the Chargers, with the same exact record but did not get to play the Chargers, won the conference. So the Bills show up as the number two seed in the AFC because somehow, someway, the Chargers was number one seed. Okay, that's uh, it's mad for you. Um, Chargers randomly the best team in the NFL. Definitely not what they're looking like this year. I mean, they just lost to the Cardinals. They are currently 3-3. Three and three. They definitely could turn it around. But Jim Kelly went ahead and put up 4,200 yards, 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Dalvin Cook led the team in rushing. Although, Jim Kelly apparently also had rushing yards still. MVS and uh, Shakir was a 1,000-yard receiver. Uh, Curtis Samuel up next. Keanu Coleman not utilized in the slightest. 124 yards and three tutties. Okay. So apparently not getting utilized much for uh, that man's right there. Jim Kelly shows up third in the MVP voting. So did not win MVP, sadly. I'm going to guess he doesn't win Offensive Player of the Year either. 
Uh, no, that's Joe Mixon. He showed up third in Offensive Player of the Year, though. But what did Joe Mixon do? For some reason, in every franchise, Joe Mixon will put up like 7 billion yards. It's insane. I, I don't know why Madden loves him so much, but it is what it is. 1,200 yards, 22 touchdowns. Okay. Uh, he also had two touchdowns through the air and 78 yards. So, that was Damian Pierce I looked at, and I just said, why did I have... Bro, hold up. I just literally looked at Damian Pierce and just Joe. It's because Joe Mixon is right above Damian Pierce. 407 yards and six touchdowns. So he had 28 total touchdowns and around 1,600 all-purpose yards. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. They win the wild card round versus the Miami Dolphins. Now they get to play Chargers, Ravens, Bills, Chiefs. Last time the Chiefs played the Bills, they won, but... You know how the playoffs go. And they lose in the playoffs. That's usually how it works. They win in the regular season, lose in the playoffs. <sighs> painful. Painful, painful, painful. So now we got a Super Bowl between the Chiefs and the Cowboys. They lose by four points still. Ah, oh, that's that's nasty. That's a that's some demon time right there. Alright, Chiefs, Cowboys. Who's gonna win this game? Blase, blase. It's going to be Cowboys. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of franchises recently I feel like the Chiefs have lost in uh, in my videos. Kind of interesting. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. If you have an idea on what player we should put on what team next, tell me down below. We can literally do any player you can think about. If you guys not have not seen this series, about, what, two weeks ago I did P. Diddy and I put him on the Browns. So, I put Taylor Swift on the Chiefs. It's pretty... Anyone can be changed, guys. Peace.